Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The government of the Maldives has put out a desperate call for help. They say they're going to drown unless there's rapid and immediate action to fight climate change. This is the same story which the Maldives was saying 10 years ago in 2011. You need to save us. The islands can't sink. We have a right to live. You can't decide our destiny. We will have to be saved, Maldives climate negotiator Mohamed Aslam said. And 12 years ago, the Maldives government held an underwater cabinet meeting to show how desperate their situation was. October 17, 2009, existence of island nation, the lowest on earth, imperiled by climate change. Things sound pretty desperate for the Maldives. In 1988, the United Nations and the Maldives government said that in the next 30 years, all 1,196 small islands were going to be underwater. So all of the islands should have drowned three years ago, and if that isn't bad enough, they were going to run out of drinking water by the year 1992. Also that year, the British Commonwealth said that the only way to save the Maldives was through global government. This was reported by the Canberra Times and The Guardian. Call for anti-greenhouse action. Governments must yield national sovereignty to multilateral authorities able to enforce laws across environmentally invisible frontiers if the greenhouse effect, which threatens the future of whole nations, is to be overcome, the Commonwealth Secretary General said. A Commonwealth expert group set up to look at climate change estimated there was a 90% certainty that sea levels would rise between 1 and 4 meters by the year 2030. There was a prospect of widespread, perhaps catastrophic, flooding across large areas of Egypt, India, China, the United States, Britain and Holland, and atolls in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Experts predicted that the Maldives were doomed unless the world submitted to global communism under United Nations control. And if that wasn't bad enough, the United Nations said we only had until the year 2000 to stop global warming. If global warming is not reversed by the year 2000, coastal flooding and crop failures would create an exodus of eco-refugees threatening political chaos, said Brown, director of the New York office of the UN Environment Program. He said governments have a 10-year window of opportunity to solve the greenhouse effect before it goes beyond human control. Apparently in 1989, we only had 10 years to save the Maldives. So the new article is actually good news for the Maldives. Climate experts have actually granted them a century-long reprieve. Now the experts say they're not going to drown until the end of the 21st century. But enough of the propaganda, now let's look at what's actually going on in the Maldives. Earlier this year, scientists reported that the Maldives have grown up to 8% in size over the past six decades. The Maldives aren't shrinking, they're getting larger. It turns out that the worst flooding danger which the Maldives faces isn't from water, it's from too much money coming in from the Saudis. People there are bracing for a life change they fear could be catastrophic after the President's announcement in January that leaders of Saudi Arabia were planning a $10 billion investment in the group of islands. The Maldives have been opening up lots of new airports near the beach to accommodate the huge increase in tourist traffic. Millions of people fly into the Maldives on long-haul flights, pumping huge amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere on their way to visit the islands. Per capita CO2 emissions for the Maldives economy are probably among the highest in the world. But the Maldives government loves to go around pointing fingers at everybody else. People with money don't seem to be too concerned about the Maldives drowning, with property values as high as $10 million for a house. You can buy this little island for the fire sale price of $65 million. This is what the Maldives look like at sunset today. It doesn't really look like they went underwater in 2018, like the experts predicted. But things haven't always been this good in the Maldives. In 1837, the islands actually were drowning. Friday, February 17, 1837, account of the Maldives. The southeast side of an island is entirely gone, but is marked by a banyan tree in the water. They say that some islands have disappeared entirely. The Maldives government blames sea level rise on carbon dioxide emissions, so according to their theory, the greenhouse gas emissions must have been really bad back in 1837. Nothing which climate alarmists say has anything to do with reality, and they repeat the same ridiculous predictions over and over again, decade after decade, century after century. 
Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this clown show for the past 13 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.